What's going on guys? Healy here and today uh, we're gonna do another simulation similar to the Chris sale But instead of getting all this hate Jonathan Lucroy has actually been dealt to the Cleveland Indians uh, Right now at this moment He uh, needs to accept the trade because the Indians was on his no trade clause list He had eight teams most of them were probably garbage when he signed the contract But now that the Indians are good, he'll most likely accept it so like what we did with the Chris Sale, we have Jonathan Lucre already on the Indians. We're going to leave him off the team until the trade deadline. As soon as the trade deadline hits, we are going to throw him onto the team, see how he does in the second half of the season, and see if we can help him in the playoffs if they make it. We're going to simulate to the All-Star game here. Ooh, we win five in a row to start off the year. This Indians team... Lonnie Chisinau, he got injured. Not too bad. Come on, boys. Killing it. Keep up the pace. Perez, he's out three to four weeks. Oh, we're going to see if Lucroy got pushed onto the team. Lucroy, he's still in single A. There we go. Catchers. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Jan Gomes is going to get tired, though. So after month number one, we go 16 and 7. That is a good month. If we could win 50 games by the All-Star game, we should be pretty set to make the playoffs here. You got to win series, bro. We take a sweep against Cincinnati. Birds out one to two months. Dude, this team is 32. Michael Brantley's out two months. As long as this does not affect their playoffs, it should be good. Matt Carpenter goes to Cincinnati for uh, Billy Hamilton and Phillips. That's a weird trade because uh, Carpenter is pretty good. Moving into month number three, 40, Michael Brantley, yeah, he still has a couple weeks left, 40 wins so far, that is pretty good, if they could win 50 by the All-Star break, like I said, we will be set to get to the All-Star break, we should be set for the playoffs here, 53 wins, alright boys, take two L's to Toronto, not too bad, 58, no, they win 58 games at the All-Star break. We're going to look at the division. We are seven games up on the Tigers. Not too bad. We're going to simulate all the way until the 30th here. And then we will implement Jonathan Lucroy. Should be a key piece to this offense. Brasco is out for two days. Not too bad. And there we go. Lucroy is making his way onto the team. He's an 83 overall. There you go. He should be playing against... He's playing against lefties and righties, so that's good. That's what I was looking for. Six games up on the Tigers. Let's go. Let's see what Lucroy can do. Michael Brantley, out two to three weeks. He cannot stop getting injured, bro. He cannot stop getting injured. As long as Lucroy helps his team... Almost at 80 wins, and we're in August. Corey Kluber, he's out two days. And he's out a couple more days. Yeah, almost 80 wins here, and we're not even in September. They are guaranteed to be above 500. They are almost double their win loss here. Look at the standings. Only seven and a half games up on the Tigers. Tigers are also having a very good year. We're going to take a look around the league. Astros have only 69 wins. Blue Jays have 72 the Dodgers have 84, and Giants have 85. Cubs have 78, Mets have 84. Yeah, 79 wins is pretty good for the Tigers, and we are still ahead of them. Come on, final month of the year should cruise to an easy division title. They should easily win 100 games here. Hopefully, 105? No, they. we got to get... We got to get to uh, 100 first. All right, 101. They finished with 101 games. And they're going up against Detroit in series number one. We're going to take a look at the standings. We finished seven games ahead. They had 94 wins. The Royals made it. But the Tigers beat them, as you saw, since we're facing the wild card team. Rangers won with 89 wins. Blue Jays won with 87. Dodgers won 102. And the Phillies had 84 for the wild card. 
Giants finished with 106 wins, Cubs with 97, and the Mets had 100. But looking at Jonathan Lucre's stats, uh, we, I forgot, playoffs eliminate everything. But he played 48 games, had a 306 average, and with 11 home runs after the All-Star break, he, he hit as many home runs as he normally gets. 18 was his high one year. He only had uh, 7 last year in 103 games. But yeah, he normally gets like 13, and he had 11 with 26 RBIs. Danny Salazar wins the Cy Young, adding it to the Indians. We're going up against Detroit. They take an L game one. Salazar against Fulmer. They take an L game two. And uh, they take an L game three. They get swept by Detroit. Uh, we'll check out how Luke Roy did in the playoffs. Luke Roy, he batted 308 and had a home run and 13 at bats. Lindor had four, 417 average. Brantley had a 455. I don't know how they lost. We're going to look at the, the scores, though. Everyone hit really well. How did they lose three games? They lost five to seven. They lost five to six. And then they lost four to nine. They kind of got whooped the third game. But these first two games, they, they let up a decent amount. Box score. The Tigers just scored early. They actually, no, they didn't blow it. No, they were always behind this game. The second game, they allowed a couple, like, decent runs. They didn't start scoring till the end. Again, the Tigers were up, and the Indians are trying to battle back. And this third game, uh, Carlos Carrasco, how many runs did he allow up? I think he allowed up a few. This last game, the Indians were actually up, but... Before the fifth inning, the Tigers already had six runs, and then they had another three-run score in the sixth. Yeah, we got whooped. We're going to see who will win the championship. We're going to stick with Detroit here. They're going up against Texas. Verlander loses game one against Darvish. A.J. Griffin against Zimmerman. Lose game two going back to Detroit. Fulmer takes L number three. And Anibal Sanchez against Martin Perez. Ooh, win. Zimmerman against Darvish. That's now. Texas is going to the World Series against the Mets. Mets making it for the second straight year. Going up against Syndergaard and Hamels. Rangers win game one. Darvish against DeGrom. Texas wins game two. They could win it in Texas. Griffin against Harvey. They win game three. And Hamels takes an L. Yeah, he, he took the L. They lost 1-0. Great game. Darvish, he's looking to close it out here. Against Syndergaard, they take an L. Ooh, DeGrom against Perez. If DeGrom loses on his home turf, this will be sad. Oh, my God. The Mets are looking to get a reverse sweep here. The Rangers, they close it out, though. Cole Hamels going up against Zach Wheeler. Should have been a no-brainer. So, yeah, Texas wins it. The Indians, they do lose in the first round of the playoffs. Will they do it in real life? Who knows? They're pretty much guaranteed to make the playoffs and get to the first round. So we got this team to the playoffs regardless. They had a good record, a lot better than real life, but I don't know how they'll do in the playoffs. They have a good pitching staff, but the main thing here was focusing on Luke Roy, and he definitely made a difference with that 306 average. And he also hit 308 in the playoffs. Uh, the pitching, they just let up too many runs. The bull, I'm guessing the bullpen let up a, a few runs here and there too to make the lead go out of way. But nothing you can do. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to see more of the Sealy. I'm out. Peace. Our stubs on those packs. Because I knew that they would not be as worth it. And I guarantee we'll get at least one gold in this 20 bundle. If we don't, still 20,000.